Hello and welcome to my next tutorial about Prepomix. This time I will show you how to analyze creep of a fixed cylinder subjected to internal pressure. Currently creep is not supported by Prepomix, but we can use the keyword editor to add unsupported calculex keywords. Let's create a new model first, we will use the unit system of millimeters. And now I will import the geometry, I will use the step file format. And here's the geometry that we will use for this analysis. It's similar to the one that we use in the rotating disk simulation, but the dimensions are different. And now let's create a mesh. Uh, I will specify the maximum element size of 2 millimeters, and I will confirm this and create a new mesh. Now the mesh is created, so I can proceed to the analysis setup. Uh, for now I will define everything in this tree, then we will go to the uh, keyword editor. Uh, let's start from the material definition, and uh, this will be still at uh, high temperature, uh, and the value uh, for Young's modulus is uh, this one, and here's the uh, Poisson's ratio. And that's it for, for now. When it comes to material definition, and now I will create a section, solid section, apply it to the whole part. Uh, and now we don't need any constraints or contact. I will create a new step. This will be static step with default settings. And now I will define boundary conditions and loads. Uh, in this case, uh, we assume symmetry. Uh, so I will define a symmetry boundary condition. Uh, let's name this uh, sim uh, z for symmetry in z axis and I will apply this condition to uh, this phase and constrain uh, the uh, z direction. Now I will define new boundary condition and this will be uh, sim uh, x and this will be symmetry in the x direction and I will apply this to, to the phase right here and I will constrain the uh, first direction. F next one it will be a symmetry or actually the roller boundary condition for those two faces and this will be constrained in y direction uh, let's name this one uh, roller uh, now we have all the necessary boundary conditions uh, and what i have to do next is define uh, pressure so let's apply pressure to this phase here and uh, this will be 70 megapascals uh, here you can see the conditions for this uh, for this analysis the dimensions of the uh, of the cylinder and that's the, mm, the inner radius that's the outer radius and here's the pressure that we will use uh, for us loading let's go back to prepomex uh, now we have everything defined uh, when it comes to, to the tree uh, model tree but uh, we also have to add uh, two additional uh, calculex keywords so let's go to the model uh, add calculex keywords and this will bring the calculex keyword editor tool uh, we haven't used this one before in our tutorials so let's introduce uh, ourselves to this one uh, we can explain materials, uh, we have elastic keyword here, here is the uh, view for the entire uh, input file and it show us, shows us where we currently are, so that's the, the currently uh, highlighted keyword. We can't modify existing keywords, uh, let's add new keyword after this one, mm, this will be placed right after the elastic keyword and now we can specify additional keywords for the material. Uh, in this case I will specify uh, creep, uh, let's copy this from the uh, notepad and now I'll paste the, the keyword right here and I'll explain uh, what this uh, exactly means. So let's take a look at uh, how creep is defined in Calculex. And uh, that's the uh, only uh, creep law we have available in this software apart from user laws defined by subroutines. That's a Norton creep law. And here's the formula uh, used for this law. And what we define here is A constant. And that's the, the one here. And then there's n constant and m constant, f uh, which uh, applies to time, and in this case this is zero. So that's uh, how we define uh, creep in uh, Calculix. Uh, now we have to add uh, viscous step. This is a special type of uh, step. It's similar to static one, but uh, it's meant for uh, viscoelastic um, materials. Mm, so let's go to, uh, to the end of, of the input file, that's, that's just the end where, where the current static step ends. Uh, so I can add new keyword here and I will paste uh, this, this uh, syntax for uh, additional viscous step. Uh, what this means is here we, we start a new step, uh, this is the step type, visco. Uh, this parameter here is uh, maximum difference in creep strain increment and then we have a few uh, parameters here and this one is initial time increment and uh, this is uh, time period of the step this is uh, in minimum time increment and this is maximum time increment and finally we have to end the step with the uh, end step keyword so let's confirm this uh, and uh, now i can run the analysis uh, and wait for the results
Okay, it took a while, but the results are av available now. Uh, we specified uh, time period of the Visco step uh, of 50 hours uh, in seconds uh, because we wanted to obtain a steady, step, steady state conditions. Let's open the results now and let's check the stresses. It may also take a while to load the results because of the large number of, of increments. Okay, let's view the results now. I will switch to phone Mrs. Stress uh, and now I can compare the uh, this solution with analytical solution. Uh, let's go to the uh, SMAF sheet and uh, here's the analytical solution. Mm. Here are the components of the stress uh, in cylindrical coordinate system and here's the phone Mrs. Stress mm. and th that's the, the source that I used to, to for the formulas. Mm, and uh, now we have values for uh, for radius equal to a, uh, so that's the uh, inner uh, surface, and here's the the stress that you expect uh, in, uh, on the surface. So let's use uh, query tool, and you can see that the results uh, queried here are uh, very accurate. Now let's uh, change this to uh, b, and this will be uh, outer radius outer face of the cylinder and let's query the values here and that's how it looks like and let's compare this with analytical solution as you can see we are uh, very close to uh, what we have from this uh, analytical solution so uh, that's it for this prepomex tutorial thank you very much for your attention as always feel free to ask any questions and suggest topics for future tutorials in the comments have a nice day and see you in the next video